I see all kinds of challenges out on Facebook they're doing these days. Somebody challenging somebody to put out their 10 most influential records or recordings that they've heard or all this nonsense. So I got a challenge to folks. I'm not going to make this all that pretty or anything. It won't be studio quality. But I'm going to try to render 100 different tunes in 100 days here. And uh, Joanne's recording these. As I say, they're not going to be studio quality, but I am going to try to get out the um, pieces and parts of tunes that I've learned through the years, and I'm going to try to have it to where uh, she can put out 100 of them back to back. So we're, that's what we're starting to work on today. Anyhow, here you go. As far as tunes go, here's the first tune that I ever learned out of this bluegrass genre out there that was being played. Uh, my dad had a friend from West Virginia named James Davis who had contacted him to find a dobro guitar and an older Gibson master tone banjo for his two children, James's two children, Charles and Tommy. And daddy found a dobro in a pawn shop in Spartanburg, South Carolina, had the neck broke out of it. He brought it home and fixed it. And Charles and Tommy and James all lived in West Virginia. So before they could get to our house, which was down near Asheville, North Carolina at that point, I'd had a chance to play around on that dobro a little bit and could uh, fumble around like he could on my granddad's old pump organ that he had in his, uh, his house. But here's the first tune that I ever learned, and it was actually learned on the dobro. Mm -hmm. 